Movies and TV Spoilers! Hi, I'm JD, this is Spoilers, and I'm here with the best of your movie news and reviews for this week, suckers. Today is September 9th, 2011, and uh, there is so much goddamn news today. So, uh, I might be rushing it a little bit on a few things, but uh, let's see how this goes. Trailers for this week! A trailer for Banraku is out, and it's supposed to be sort of a future western uh, kung fu martial arts samurai, I have no idea, type of mix-up. Uh, anyways, it looks awesome and freaking cool, so wham! Trailer for the big year came out with Steve Martin and Owen Wilson and Jack Black, and it looks like it could go either way. Um, they're all three very funny, and it looks like a funny concept where they all decide to take a year off. They just do all the things they want to do, but then at some point it's supposed to turn into a competition or something, and they don't really convey that very well, so, um, I don't know. Uh, I'm going to put win, because it probably will end up funny. A uh, trailer for a movie called Lucy's is out, about uh, the dad from Twilight accidentally knocking a lady up whilst being a pickpocket. And uh, I'm not sure if this is a comedy, so I'm going to say fail, because it doesn't really convey its own genre. And finally, oh my god, the scariest freaking trailer I've seen in a long time, um, Sons of Horror is out. And uh, it's ball scary. As scary as balls can be. I, balls just aren't pretty, so they're scary. Uh, <laughs> but it's like, oh my god. These people go to an insane asylum, and um, it's supposed to be super hot, and it's supposed to drive you crazy, and it's supposed to be sort of based on a true story, and just shit goes crazy, and ghosts start freaking out, and you, you don't really see a lot of clips. This reminds me a little bit of Paranormal Activity, with a little more scary involved. So, um, I'm going to say win, because it made me pee a little, maybe. Movie news for this week! Alright, so this is where we're going to do a little bit of a speed through. B. Willis and Arnold Schwarzenegger will be in Expendables 2 far more than normal. Win! Riddick goes R-rated. Super win! Monopoly becomes a movie with Ridley Scott and the writers from Ed Wood. Win! Beetlejuice sequel is probably going to happen. Win! Awesome! Uh, there's rumors out there from a random guy at a random convenience store passing it along to this random ass article that uh, Joseph Gordon-Levitt is going to be the next Robin. Win! Anything's cool. My favorite, um, World War Z zombies are going to be fast, not slow. Seth Rogen's not going to be in uh, Turning 40 with Megan Fox and all the other random guests. Fail, because he's damn funny. Uh, and to slow the news down a little bit and sort of have a discussion on this uh, topic, Netflix. Uh, there's a couple articles. One that talks about the idea that uh, stars might not cop out on them. Uh, mainly because uh, this analyst brings up the perspective of the fact that $300 million is a lot of money to uh, bitch out on. And uh, two, if they do walk away, I'm pretty sure some other movie channel's probably going to line up and take it. Something even better like HBO or, oh god, Cinemax? Anyways, uh, yeah, so, you know, I'm going to say win on that whole analyst perspective because he's right. Uh, They'd be dumb to pass up $300 million. That's a stupid, stupid idea. You're not going to be protecting your pricing. You are just going to lose $300 million. Oh, and Netflix is actually pissing people off again. Um, they're sort of trying to take money from every nook and cranny they possibly can. So, so what they're doing now is uh, you can't stream two movies at the same time on different devices. Uh, what they're, well, you can, but actually you're going to have to start paying extra money for it. I think it's like $23 for three devices. And uh, people are pissed. They're like, fuck you, Netflix. And their stock's dropped again. Which, you know, I gotta say... You're going a little over bounds. The first thing was uh, understandable. Money needs to come from that. But uh, you just sound like you're trying to screw people now. And um, eventually I might not be too happy with Netflix after that. I'll probably still have it. But quit trying to screw people, Netflix. Cut that shit out. Fail. TV news for this week. Eddie Murphy is going to be hosting the Oscars, and I don't really care about the Oscars. 
I do think this is funny because Ricky Gervais has been talking for a long time about, oh, they've been inviting me back. I don't understand you people who are offended. And you know, I don't understand the people who are offended as well, but it's kind of funny when someone brags up a lot and then just fucking bombs. Uh, win, I guess. Alphas is renewed for season two, and uh, I still haven't watched episode one yet, so win in hopes that I get hooked. How I Met Your Mother is supposed to be running into complications and the idea that there's going to be a love square. What the hell do we mean by love square? Well, with the introduction of Cal Penn and some other hot chick between Barney and Robin, there's going to be a love square, which might end up with Cal Penn and Hot Chick running away together, and then Barney and Robin running away together. So interesting! Win! I always love How I Met Your Mother. No matter what they do, they're just friggin' geniuses. And finally, community spoilers. Uh, they're going to be bringing in Michael K. Williams from The Wire to play um, a very hardcore uh, something instructor. I think it's biology. And... Uh, that's going to be creating some tension on the show. And then as well, a very interesting perspective, and I'm kind of excited to see how they kind of bring their philosophy in on this and the comedic style. Uh, Troy and I better move it in together into an apartment. So yes, awesome, win! And finally, picks for this week. A poster for every goddamn movie in the universe that is about to be made has come out. Uh, these are them. Okay, uh, and um, I gotta say, I just too many posters. Fail. Stop it. Uh, pictures of Anne Hathaway beating some criminal ass is out, and I'm excited. Win there. Always love seeing a hot chick just beat the shit out of somebody. Picks for the uh, premiere of Supernatural are out, and they don't really provide some information, but it's still Supernatural, so win. And for the final thing today, uh, Chuck Season 5 promo pics are out, and they are dressed for business. No, seriously, um, they are, like, in business attire, not their buy more shit. So, um, anything to see Von Stravonsky, or whatever her name is, in, uh, a, a really hot cut suit. Uh, that's all the news I got for you today. If you like what you saw, hit the like button and subscribe, bitches. Also, for those of you stumblers out there, hit the like button up in the corner there for me. If you're interested in any of these articles or the other billion things that I found fascinating this week, links in the description down below. Uh, once again, my name's JD. Uh, this is Spoilers, and hopefully there's some brain food for you.